You know, with each passing day, I get more and more fed up with the Alphabet Mafia as it is. And on occasion, well, very fucking often, I get one or two clowns, or let's be real, the entire fucking circus. Going around proving my point that this quote unquote community isn't really a community. And going around attacking people just based purely off the fact that we oppose the Mafia. No. The attempt to disprove you being a part of the Mafia, you do a big of job proving that you are in fact a Mafia that deserves nothing but the harshest of opposition. By definition, You're a fucking mafia. Right here. <clears throat> Operating originally in so let's say see, now especially in Italy and the US and having a complex and ruthless behavioral code. How did that not describe you and your mafia? Oh, it's the quote popular mafia because of the alphabet kind. We say this all the fucking time when you rally behind discussing shit like this, for example. This is not a good brawless look. Which I am to agree. This is part of what I meant by <coughs> these men don't even pretend anymore. They don't even pretend. They don't even try to hide it. I mean, honestly, this is not natural breast tissue. And this right here requires a ridiculous amount of testosterone to fucking produce. Natural testosterone, mind you. None of that artificial garbage. None of those ridiculous drugs that you think you can take and make yourself the opposite, which before, and I said it I said it before and I'll say it again, but I have to repeat myself on this through thick fucking skulls. Those drugs were originally used to castrate sex offenders. No matter how many drugs you take, you can never be the opposite. And you want us to accept men as women. Never gonna happen. It gets even worse. It's... Now, unlike a lot of... I actually have the common decency to censor out the slur in use here. And this is from my wall of tweets. They are men. Number two, a full slur. Number three, girls cannot have bulges. Number four, gender norms are norms for a reason. And the original post here was retweeted by Trumplicans24. I am a pretender, and I don't touch. Here's why. Pretenders don't need to conform to a full slur. Gender norms. And this retard goes out the deep end and saying girls can have bulges. No the fuck they can't. If you're born with a pussy, you'll be a woman always. If you're born with a dick, you'll be a male always. Based on XX or XY chromosomes. That is it. And to think this mafia even goes 
as far as if we're taking misogyny. All the names take up men's feelings. Right here. Putting men's feelings over girls' safety is evil. How can a girl know a man is a threat if she has been taught to call bearded rapists women? This is the exact same thing I pointed in the previous rant. It's always a door to sexual assault and sexual harassment. But you don't give a damn because all oh, my mutilated male feelings. Fuck your feelings. Alright, if it puts women at risk, fuck your feelings. I prefer to err to the side of safety rather than feelings. And... Furthermore, <clears throat> this coincides with sexual harassment and sexual assault. Where I said, this is why I call out the Elvent Mafia for not caring about consent more than a few times on my videos. Cut this thing another time. If you don't date a pretender, you're transphobic. Yeah! That screams, I don't care about consent. Right fucking there. That just screams disregard for consent. And you fuckers wonder why I oppose you with every fiber of my being. I retweeted this quite a while ago, mind you. But. There's this. That's a cute try. When you can quote, identify as anything you want, that is when you end up with a perversion like Trans Age and MAPS. For those of you who don't know, the acronym MAPS is for men attracted persons, which is just a politically correct or woke way of saying pedophile. LGB without the T right now because you can't pretend that this isn't a cult. Like I was just saying earlier, the flag on the wall and the fucking disgusting diaper proves how disgusting this shit really is. But it gets worse than that. Like, that is the worst, I gotta say. The old fashioned belief that pretenders where all gay men pre-mutilation remains astoundingly prevalent. Very, very much so. And it's destroying the very fabric of our culture. <clears throat> Ow! Fucking many times you had to see this bullshit go on before the Outfit Mafia gets recognized as a scatastic terrorist organization. But that was from like a year ago. How did I just show you? Let's get to something recent, shall we? Instead of protect pretenders, what about protect autistic youth? How about that, no? That doesn't do it for your virtue signaling sociopaths. Since you're all about, quote, equality, what about autistic? Oh! That's not where the big money is! That's not where the money is! Is it? Who cares about autistics? We're gonna just sterilize and mutilate kids so they cannot have kids into the future when they become adults. Who knows if they even become adults post mutilation if you do this at an early age because you end up causing fucking dysphoria post mutilation but you don't want to even talk about that or you acknowledge teen transitioners pretty much fucking regretting their operation all because it's a feel good story it gets the feels and the money seriously fuck you people and fuck your feelings reality matters more than how you feel. I don't care if you claim to be the opposite. 
If you are born one way, you will always be that way. It's time you fuckers get a dose of reality and cut with this cult-like behavior. This evil mafia has gone on for far too long. And yes, all this disgusting shit going on is a fucking cult. By definition. So before I call critics out of piles, look in your own goddamn backyard and think. Maybe all this has gone way too far and the whole trans age nonsense is easily not only sick and disgusting on its own, but opens the door to pedophiles abusing kids. Honestly. If only the warriors of hope were here right now to see what you fuckers are doing. They would have some serious beef with you disgusting freaks. Like I do. You belong in a mental institution. I'm not gonna tell you about it. You are so mentally deranged, it's not even fucking funny. You are so morally bankrupt. Like anybody who even takes this garbage remotely seriously is way beyond me. The moment this mafia completely phases out, I will pop open a bottle of sake and salt. 